Yo, what's going on, buddy? This is Dylan Talk Sports. My name is Dylan. In today's video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to talk about Dan Hurley possibly being the new head coach of the Los Angeles Lakers. Now, in the past couple of days, it's kind of been up speculating news, breaking news-wise, uh, that Adrian Wojnarowski was breaking that Dan Hurley, the former coach of the UConn Huskies, men's basketball team that just won the national championship last year and the year before is flying out for an interview he's going to be going to interview with rob Linka, the los angeles lakers and possibly becoming the new head coach now it hasn't been confirmed or denied from the lakers or dan hurley themselves on if this is going to be happening he's the head coach 100 or not but if this is happening what i wanted to do is i kind of want to talk about some of the details uh, of reported salary has been leaked about what the salary could be for them for them signing dan hurley and i'm going to say this now holy fuck and i kind of want to talk about could this be the right choice and what this could mean for the lakers going forward is this something that lebron james is gonna like would he like playing for Dar uh dan hurley would this be a good coach hire for the lakers is this a rebuild type of move are they thinking he's the guy that can bring him a championship next season and i'm kind of just like i said give my opinion and break it all down but i'm gonna stop rambling and i'm gonna get straight into this so if you're going to enjoy as always make sure you're going to drop a like on this video be very much appreciated if you do so but without further ado let's get into it Okay, starting off, we have this article here that kind of talks about all the information of what's going on. It says here, UConn coach Dan Hurley traveled to Southern California on a on Friday morning or for a Friday meeting with Los Angeles Lakers Vice President of Basketball Operations Rob Palinka and owner Jeannie Buss with the organization eager to close a deal on the hire of the two-time Nash Championship coach. Now, it does say here Dan Hurley has not yet made a decision about exiting UConn for the, for the NBA, but there is momentum in these discussions. Sources said he's informed UConn's administration Wednesday of his interest to talk to the Lakers and his players on the talks on Thursday. Now, it says here Palinka and Buss are eager to formally discuss the, with Hurley their vision of marrying his dominant program with are built upon his tactical ac acumen and elite player development with the story's Lakers brand. Now, one interesting little thing here says here, this is actually the anniversary uh, saying here, the pursuit of Hurley comes on the 20th anniversary of the Lakers actually trying to hire Duke's coach, Coach K, to a record-breaking contract of, in 2004. Uh, coach K elected to remain at Duke, but the climate has dramatically changed in college athletics at the demands of NIL fundraising for non-power football schools such as UConn are in an especially relentless grind and expected to become more difficult. Now let's talk about why Dan Hurley is gonna actually probably leave the UConn Huskies. I think he's looking at college and he's looking at the NBA and he's saying the way college is going, and I've said it before on many of my videos here on the channel, I think Dan Hurley and a lot of coaches, we see it all over the league, they're looking at college and we just saw with Nick Saban, they're looking at college and they're saying, it's becoming more of a business. This isn't the college football, college basketball, college baseball, colleges, athletics in general that I came into when I started and what I've been coaching the past decade. This has become a business. This is all about getting paid, worrying about how much are you going to pay this kid? How much are you going to be able to give them to come to your program? With the transfer portal, it's the same thing as like free agency and all the big leagues. You're trying to go in and recruit, trying to pro uh, bring bribe these kids to come to your university from other uh, programs. And in his eyes, he's probably looking at it as, in the NBA, it's going to be the same exact thing, except I could be on a bigger stage. In the NBA, like I said, with transfer, the same thing as free agency. You're going out to other NBA franchises, going to other NBA teams, trying to bring these guys. Maybe you're trying to sign them to bigger contracts. Say, hey, this guy's going to give you a four-year uh, $60 million contract. I'll give you a four-year $74 million contract. Basically, just trying to bribe your way, just like with the way NIL and now player being paid in, in NCAA it's kind of the same thing. And with Darren Hurley possibly coming to the Lakers, he's looking at the Lakers franchise as the storied franchise. All the great players from Jerry West, Magic Johnson, Kobe Bryant, Shaquille O'Neal. You go on and on and on. I could sit here and name these guys forever. But it's like the story of that franchise. And if he comes here and he's able to get this team back to the NBA Finals, maybe even win an NBA Finals championship, his name, his legacy will be there forever. Now, as it says here where my mouse is, it says the Lakers have committed to making it all NBA for Anthony Davis a significant part of the conversation of the next head coach and you want to make sure that he is aligned with how a new coach plans to feature him on offense and defense. Basically saying whatever coach that comes in here, they're looking at their star players of LeBron James, Anthony Davis, and they're realizing, okay, LeBron, max, I'm going to say maximum three years he has left. Probably going to be two. Maybe he plays next year and that's going to be it and he'll call it quits after that. But I'm going to say maximum, it's two to three years is what he has left. With Anthony Davis, they probably have at least a good five to eight years left of his career. And if they can keep him within the franchise for all that time, they want to be able to have a coach in here that's going to make him the focal point of the offense and defense, like it says. Now, here's something I look at with Coach Hurley. The way I've seen some NBA analysts talk about, they said he, the way he coaches, 
he coaches like a high school basketball coach, which I kind of understand the way they're talking about. They're trying to make it all team oriented basketball. And nobody's a superstar. Everybody needs to work together. And he kind of took that system and just the way how everything worked in high school. He brought it to college and he ran that system within the Yukon Huskies. He runs an aggressive, hard nosed offense and defense, uh, pushes his guys. He's not afraid to tell them when they suck, he's going to push them. So he doesn't give out many compliments is what I've been seeing. And the thing I'm wondering is how is that going to translate to the NBA scene? When he's in the NBA, if he coaches the Los Angeles Lakers, at first, that first week, the introductory, he's probably going to make friends. He's going to be talking to the players. Everybody's going to say, hey, what's up, bro? I love you. Good to see you. I can't wait to play for you. I can't wait for you to coach me. But believe me, when he gets you out there running those suicides and he's got you moving up and down that court and he's busting your ass, Oh, you're going to hate him so quickly. He's going to try to implement these offensive uh, game plans, these plays. He's going to try to put some defensive schemes in there to try and make you guys have to move harder. Sometimes some of these stars don't like to really run that hard. They're not built like that. And he's going to have to realize this ain't college where I can make these kids do what I want them to do. This is the NBA where these guys are getting paid upwards of $40 million. They could give a shit what I say. It's like getting players in the NBA to buy into your system and your culture is a lot tougher than going into college and doing it. As you can see here, uh, this was a very interesting thing. It says here from Legion Hoops, uh, the Lakers report are prepared to offer Dan Hurley a deal in the ballpark of eight years, $100 million. And this comes here from this uh, Lakers insider, Anthony F. Irwin, saying, like I said, they're probably going to give him about eight years, $100 million. And for those of you who are curious, that's about $12.5 million a year. And it kind of got me thinking about, okay, who's actually the highest paid coaches within the NBA? And I looked up this list. And I kind of want to see where's Darren, uh, Dan Hurley going to compare to the rest of the guys. Well, going by the millions, uh, if he was going to pay about $12.5 million, he'd be literally top five paid coach in the NBA immediately without doing a single thing. It's like you got the main guys, the guys that you expect up here, Steve Kerr, Greg Popovich, Eric Spolscher, they're up or on the top 17, 16, 15 million. Monty Williams got paid a lot of money by the Pistons because the Pistons thought this is going to be a rebuild. We're willing to see what Monty could do. Can he get us out of the gutters? And it seems like the Lakers are going to be going down that path as well. I would have said with them trying to get Hurley to come to the Lakers, they wouldn't have given this much money, but they would offer him the privilege of saying, we're going to give you as much time as you want. You are the guy, you lead this franchise. And then if you start winning playoff games, you get into the playoffs and you make some big things happen, we'll give you a lot of money. But no, it seems like from what they're saying, they're basically telling Hurley, we're going to give you all the money in the world. We're going to sign you in. We're going to lock you in. And we think you can bring a championship here. You just won two national championships with ease over there at UConn. Now you're going to have us, the Laker franchise. We and they, In their eyes, they think, we got all the players. We got LeBron James, Anthony Davis. We got all the guys here. We're ready to win. We just need the right guy at the, the helm to lead the troops. Now, can Hurley lead the troops and actually make this team win a uh, NBA Finals championship? That's a hard ask. Because in the Western Conference, that that conference is just brutal to get out of. I mean, the Thunder just won the number one seat, and they were probably a team that nobody thought was going to win the one seat. You got the Timberwolves. You got the Nuggets. You got the Mavericks that are in the, NBA, in the NBA Finals currently. You got the Clippers. You got the Suns. It just goes on and on. The Western Conference is a brutal for, conference to get out of. And Hurley's going to have to put his greatest coaching job on paper ever into this upcoming season if they're going to get out of it. Now, like I said, is it possible? I'm not betting my money on it. Will they do it? That remains to be seen. I think the big question going forward that I've seen a lot of people talk about is, will LeBron James come back because of this coaching hire? People have talked about a lot of other teams, uh, one specifically for me, since I'm a Cavs fan, uh, the Cavaliers, Donovan Mitchell coming back to Cleveland. People have said, are they waiting to see what happens with the coach who's hired, if Donovan Mitchell will come back or not? Not, I'm wondering if the same thing applies with the Lakers. Is LeBron waiting to see who's going to be the coach? If the coach that he once hired is the coach, he's coming back. Or has he already set up his mind and said, nope, I'm not coming back. I don't care who the coach is. I'm not coming back either way. But other than that, I think I'm going to wrap it up there. Hopefully you guys did go and enjoy this video. If you did enjoy it, as always, make sure you go and drop a like on this video. Be very much appreciated if you do so. If you wanted to watch the entirety of this video, thank you very much. And like I said, if you have a different opinion, do you agree or disagree with anything I said? Do you think that Dan Hurley is going to be the coach of the Lakers? And if he's going to be a good coach for the Lakers, do you think he can bring a championship to the Los Angeles Lakers? Whatever your opinion may be, leave your complete opinion down in the comment section down below. Be more than welcome to talk about with you guys. If you're a fan of the content that I do poster and you want to go and hit that big red subscribe button, feel free to do so. And do not forget to hit that little notification bell to be notified. Second to post. But without further ado, this has been Nolan Talk Sports. Have a great day. Peace.